Hey y'all, what's up? We at uh, Denny's right now, me and my husband, by ourselves, so we don't have the fan with us. Oh, I can't even hear. Am I talking loud enough? I hope y'all can hear me. So good morning to you guys. I probably said that already. But we're at Denny's, and we're gonna get us something to eat. It's probably about uh, what time is it? Probably about lunchtime and stuff. So. Um, I will. Uh, I'm gonna start recording you guys when we get our food. What is to be? I mean, to be is like a sausage. I never tasted that. But a lot of people eat it to be so with uh, with them eggs. I have never tasted that, but I hear that it's really good. Does it tender? No, I haven't. I've never had wind. This is kind of yeah. Oh, it's yes. never when did I have it? Them. They had it on the Disney boat. It's, it looks like a regular sausage. Disney boat with what meal? Half a breakfast meal. That don't mean I ate it. You ate it. You had everything in that place. Oh, I don't remember tasting that. I don't remember y'all, so he always told me that I taste something that I said I never tasted. Or movies. She or watched. movies. She, she I never remember. seen a movie. And then we then we start watching the movie again. And she said, oh, yeah, I did see that. Yeah. That's exactly what happens, but not often. <laughs> okay. No, I think I'm good. Oh, you oh, ready? Yeah. I need a little bit more time. Okay. Come back. I'm gonna get this. Uh, Fit fair skillet, is that potatoes in it? Fit fair. Yeah. Okay, explain that. There we go, right here. That's a veggie skillet. Uh -huh. They have potatoes. Uh, egg whites, spinach. You, you, want some, you need some protein, though. You need, a, you need a meat, meat skillet. But why don't you get something with meat and veggies? No, it says over, over 20 grams of protein. <laughs> Oh, in that skillet? Yeah. Oh, okay. But I like I'm a meat eater, from. so I like meat. Oh, the eggs. Oh, egg whites are excellent source of protein. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to get that. Get the fit there. Falls in my, I might have to get something to go with it. Yeah, just such a low calorie. Calorie count. Calorie count. It's only like 340 calories. What you getting? Is that your purse? Get out my wallet at home. Really? See? Remember, we weren't going out. We were just going to get the, no, we was to take care of no, 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 it. didn't no. start that way. Baby, you woke me up this morning and said, baby, let's go get some breakfast. Okay, I forgot my wallet. It's there a you, rare there you go. Occasion. Yeah. It never okay. happens. No, it never happens, but I do have my wallet. They, they might take Apple Pay. Pay by Apple. I got my wife. Just inside of me, this thing. Or maybe just double the number of eggs. Double the number of eggs. And then maybe I just get four, get two, two additional egg whites in it. Ooh. Ooh. I'm tired. <laughs> and then she turned and put her face on me. Oh, I don't like bacon. I mean, you know, I don't like everybody's bacon. I know. Sometimes they have a different taste to it. Right. Yeah. It ain't that good. I don't see that. Uh, so, are you ready now? You know what you want? Yeah. Was everybody ready to learn? What's your name? The grilled chicken cob salad. Grilled like ham as well. Hmm. Okay. What was that place that we had the sausages at? That's not here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We couldn't be here because we ain't been here so long. Yeah, we ready. Now. So you guys eat the in and out. I'm waiting on this manager to call me back for something. Yeah, he's waiting, so. Hope you guys are doing awesome today. You guys are kind of out of it. Man, I don't know why. I'm so, I think it's the opposite. I laid down about uh, 
I went to bed probably about two, two yesterday. My husband woke me up at eight. So that's like five hours of sleep. Six. Five or six hours. It's the mathematician. Sorry. Six hours of sleep. And uh, pretty much poop. You know, I, I should have just had, I got some energy, um, some energy, I'm going to say my energy drinks that I'm supposed to, um, review so they sent me some in the mail i'm supposed to review the, their um, energy drinks so i'm gonna do that soon and let y'all know how they how their company works you know they like uh five hours and then they have the um the actual drink that you drink and they have different flavors too like uh watermelon grape apple grape apple sour apple um pomegranate, uh, something else. They gave me a few, so you guys want some of that. Sample them out soon. Right now would have been a great day to take them, but I didn't, so I didn't bring them. Oh, that's so good. So I'm glad you guys responded well on my husband, uh, seeing him, so. He's much more comfortable now. No, I'm not. He's much more comfortable now being on on his own. Take. You're not comfortable. You told me you wouldn't even uh, you weren't afraid of the uh, camera. I'm not afraid. He talks in front of people mean, all man. the time. He's always constantly in front of crowds. So I don't know why this would be a problem. Because that's business or church for those of you guys that don't know her if she hasn't told you I'm also an associate pastor at a church and so when I'm talking I'm, I'm talking to a congregation or at work I'm talking to customers uh, whether it's in a small individual setting or you know in a larger group setting uh, but it's just different it's not it's not about my personal life or my you know my family life or anything like that so it's just a different thing I mean, I don't know if you guys had, you know, just started doing YouTube and, you know, had some, I guess, issues with getting over, you know, being in front of a camera and all that other stuff, you know, I don't know, but yeah, it's, it's not normal for me. Right, it's not normal now because, like, I was, I was kind of crazy too, you know, was not used to it when I first started. When I first started, it's very, it was very, very awkward, like, you talking to a camera but now that you now i'm so used to it that it's the norm to me now but i'm sure with him he got to get used to it because i even though i've been doing this for like four months no five months now but i got like 80 videos out so the more videos you do the more you push yourself to you know you get comfortable with it that's what it is. You get real comfortable. So now I'm comfortable, and now he's got to get used to being comfortable, which I don't understand why, because he's always in front of people, like I said, talking all the time. Like I said, He do classes. He do teaching. He does, I mean, a lot of people, y'all. So. And then, he has done commercials for his... his, his uh, yeah, and all of that is prepared messaging. So. No, the commercials... Or uh, whatever you call that thing. It's even still, it was, it's all prepared content. I know prepared. What commercial you talking about? That G thing, you know, was all. Yeah, that was. No, I didn't even know they was gonna put me on. Right. I didn't know they was gonna do <laughs> and that. you and you did that. Uh, yeah. So. Um, but in every other situation, it's prepared content. You're teaching. You're training. You know, stuff that you're talking about. When it's just off the cuff and you just talking about stuff like I was gonna do like a YouTube video a while back on uh, like the weight loss process and I did about six videos but again it's just me sitting down at the table talking about my workout talking about you know my diet and stuff like that and so you're comfortable thank you you said French French Italian yeah French French Italian what is this what is one it's this right here it looks like Fried chips or something. What a bacon. I can't even tell you. It's supposed to be on there because that's a cop. Right. But anyway, it was all just talking about my, you know, 
my workout and stuff. So, you know, you just explaining how you feel at the moment and, you know, what you're eating and all that kind of stuff. So it's just a different, it's a different thing. A different vibe. Yeah, it's a different vibe. Plus, you know, I never posted any of that stuff. I just, I did it. I was oh, yeah, he did. going to post it, but I never really did it, so. Um, but if you would have done it, it would have been... I mean, it was just me normal talking, so it's not like, that's why I say I'm not nervous about being on camera, just talking and talking, and, you know, one of those things, but I don't know, it's just the way, it's just new, it's just different for me. Okay, don't make it supposed to come on this. Is it bacon? Yeah, because it's a base of pop salad. Okay. Thank you. They gave you sauce for days. Look, I want these things. Let's see. What are they, chips? Let me say first. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this food that we're about to receive. We ask, Father, that you would bless it, uh, that it may be nourishing to our bodies in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 What? It's like potato chips or something. Yeah. yeah. On your salad. Yeah. On your healthy salad. Right. <laughs> On my healthy salad. So, you guys, this is my cob. I got a cob salad. A chicken, real chicken cob salad. And he got the, uh, um, what was it called? A skillet, like a veggie skillet with a, uh, egg white. Thank you. Appreciate that, man. So they have to add my bacon. You need a salt and pepper, please. Sure thing, kiddo. I'm gonna. So I got French ranch and Italian that I'm gonna add to this. Yeah, just so y'all know, that's like her thing. All three of them, she gotta have all three of them. Yeah. All the time when I eat salad. Every time she has a salad, she gotta have all three of them. She and I like the. It. I like the taste, the tangy taste. Like the sweet. She like the the tanginess of the the, the Italian. That's just her. Yeah. After you've been uh, with somebody for a long time, you can pretty much order for them. Right. You know exactly what they like, what they don't like. Like when we, like just like when we go to uh, seafood or places, like he takes me out to a nice steak dinner or something really elegant and nice and special, he orders for me and he knows exactly what I want. He don't have to say nothing. Yeah, you. He pretty much know my, I want my crab legs and on my. I want my uh, lobster tail. I want my shrimp. I want my steak. I'll be getting all of it. All of that at once, <laughs> y'all. All of that at once. But it's all good because that's the purpose of the occasion is just to, you know, go out, have a good time. Right. Um, you already know that when you're going out like that, it's going to be an X amount of money. So you just kind of plan for it ahead of time. And he know me. And I know my wife. When you think the order is over, there's more to come. <laughs> but do I already eat that food? Huh? Yeah, you eat it. Yeah, you eat it. Whether you eat it that day, no, you don't never eat. It, it never gets eaten always, like the same day. I always take it, eat that. She always eats it. Order it, and then I say, I say, you know, I want it to go. I take it to go. Always, never fails. I'm like, you know, you gotta go eat all that food. Cause I do get full more time, but I know it's some good food. And I'm gonna take it and eat it the next day. I don't know if I'm going to like these, uh... Them potato chip things? Yeah, that's different. I don't know, but these, um... Uh, sauteed grape tomatoes are good. You know, I like that tomato in there. Mm. I got a slice of ham, y'all. I feel like the car pulled up. I'm not gonna finish all this um, salad. Sorry. You're not gonna finish all the salad? I doubt it. That's not one of those things you can really finish like that. Eat later. Well, yeah. The lettuce gets all wilted. I eat my salad later. Mm -hmm. I do. It's a problem for me. What? Eating the potatoes after oh, so man. long of not eating like that, you know, it's almost oh, you like a mental block. In... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a mental block. Right, it's like because you know, you guys... so used to eating a certain way. He was eating that keto. And, and now all of a sudden, I got these potatoes on my plate, and I'm like, okay, should I, I eat, eat them? Do I not <laughs> eat them? Yeah. Takes a little getting used to it.
It's good though. I can make you some potatoes today, son. You like scalloped potatoes, don't you? I do, but on that um, bodybuilder's diet, you gotta have on that bodybuilder's so diet, yeah, you got to limit the starch and intake. Right. But the egg whites are definitely good. Tell, them what, you, tell them what your workout was yesterday. Oh, man. So I told y'all I'm doing CrossFit, right? So my workout yesterday, they call it the Murph. And Pray me, y'all. It's a, like an insane workout challenge. It was the first time I've ever done it. Yeah, thank you. And, um, you know, I'm new to the whole thing, so it was insanely tiring. But the workout was a two-mile run. So it's one mile to start. Then you do 100 pull-ups, um, 200 push-ups, 300 air squats, and then a one-mile run after that. So... Obviously, being new, I, I ain't do all that. I did like one and three quarters miles on the run. I did 50 pull-ups, and I did um, I did 100 push-ups and 150 air squats. So we call it like a half Murph is what I did. But still, really, the only thing that's really bad is the running and the push. Uh, everything after that. You know, just because you're not used to running that that far. I mean, it was people there that run like 10, 12 miles a day, and they do that in under two hours. So, you know, you're looking at these people. These people was laughing me, y'all, for real. I ain't feel bad about it either. I was tired, um, but it, it, it wasn't too bad. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to feel it tomorrow because I'm usually like a two-day person I don't feel tired or hurting the next day but the following day after that I'm usually in pretty bad shape so what you did today you won that yeah it's like I say it's only been one day so oh. tomorrow oh, you know yeah. I'm expecting right. to have a little bit more muscle yeah. soreness mm -hmm. uh, but we'll see how it goes it really wasn't you know the push-ups I can I can do push-ups with days that's like my thing um, pull-ups mm -mm. mm -mm. That was that was tough. Yeah, it was tough. You're talking about 50. And they're called kipping pull-ups. And I just haven't gotten used to the motion yet. If you've never done a kipping pull-up, you gotta look it up online. See how it is. Yeah, it's done. It's kind of like a swinging motion. And you gotta get the momentum and really like get in a rhythm of doing it. If you break that rhythm, it's tough. It is. You know I can eat plain food. After all it, when you, too, a little yeah, bit. A gotta stay away from salt. Like, so, yeah. you know, so sure. That's why I asked you for the salt, but I didn't put it on there. You put pepper. On I just put the pepper on there, yeah. yeah. I gotta taste my food. I taste it. <laughs> Once you get used to eating food without all the seasoning, um, it becomes more normal for you. Mm -hmm. Problem is, if you never tried it or continue to do it because you like the seasoning, you'll never get to that point. And usually, you grow up. You grow up with your parents seasoning it one way or another, and you're used to that. So you just kind of take on those same habits when you get older. Until you get white. Right. <laughs> And that cooks different. Right. Then you get used to her cooking. True. And then when you go to my house, you're like, this is so bland. Because a lot of times you be like, wow, it don't got no season. Remember you used to do that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those are for them times. That's why you see her with that little seasoning bottle. Mm -hmm. And there'd be times you be like, man, this is bland. And she'd be like, let me hook it up for you. Yeah. And she'll hook it up too. All right. But, that's how it goes. I need this.
My meal ain't that good, y'all, today. I don't guess y'all it's boring. Egg. Top salad. But it's still good. Oh, I, love, I like eggs on the salad. Good flavor. You know what I good? Raisins on salad. You know what that? Yeah, I made that salad. It was so good. I made a salad at, um, it was at Old Country. And I tasted that thing, I was like, dang, that thing good. You want something else to drink? No, 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 yeah, so um, somebody asked if I ever cook for my wife, and the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. um, usually if I'm cooking, sometimes I just cook breakfast or something, but I like to cook like the steaks and stuff like that. His nice steak. pan fried snake steak. His steak yeah. is slamming. I'm no kidding, y'all. I'm not even joking. That, his steak is really, really good. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, you looked it up and... Yeah, I like doing it because it only takes like six to eight minutes. And I'm I don't like my steak walking either, y'all. I'm going to catch him on tape doing that. Uh, recording him doing steak, y'all. And y'all going to see how tender it is. When you get that, I'm talking about melt in your mouth tender. So good. And it's like, well, it's not, well, what do you call it? Medium well? Medium well. Yeah. <laughs> medium, medium well. I, I just, we, we like pink or darker. I mean, you know, very little pink. We don't do, you know, some people, yeah, everybody likes their steak different. When I was younger, when I was a kid, I ate my steak medium rare because that's the way my mom cooked it. So, um, got used to it. And it, it, it you, you have that, it's a little bit more tender when it's medium, medium rare. The longer you cook it, the tougher it gets. And so, people have their preferences and I understand those. I just like, <laughs> We like ours a certain way, so. But usually when I'm cooking, it's because I'm starving. When I'm starving, I get creative. You do. I be making up some stuff. Man, y'all, let me tell y'all. We were so hungry, right? This is way back in the early part of my marriage, right? And we had some roast, a roast in the, uh, in the freezer. So we took that roast out and we just said we wanted something different. Man, this dude was so hungry. We put that roast on the grill. I'm talking about a big roast, a chunk roast, y'all, on the grill. That thing was so bomb and we started roasting our... our uh, Start like grilling our roast. Grilling our roast. Mm -hmm. So good. If y'all ain't, I'm getting that. I'm definitely getting that on camera. That's got to be a video. Oh, roast! That roast was so good. And then he rubbed it down with a, um, a, a rubber. What you call that? It was some kind of grill seasoning or something uh, like that. Yeah, it was like a that um, mixed grill. Um, a marinade or something. Yeah. I don't remember what well, it's been a long time since that happened. That was a rub. Oh my goodness. And then we just cut it up into pieces and all that stuff. It was good. Came out so tender. Did we have a girl ever? Yeah. Did I cook it beforehand? Yeah. We put it on there a while. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you, you cut it, it up. all the way through. Because you cut it up. I did? Mm -hmm. yeah. You cut it up into smaller pieces. I and I was able that. to kind of grill it. You know, flipping the pieces and all that stuff, so it didn't take that long. Because otherwise, you gotta, and, you know, we, we are, we charcoal people. I know everybody, you know, a lot of people like, you know, the gas grills and all that stuff. We gotta have that charcoal flavor. Um, so when you're cooking on the charcoal grill and you're, trying, and you're cooking for a long time, like a roast or something, it's just much easier to cut it up, yeah, and because uh, it cooks faster. Number one. And number two, you don't always have a good way to moderate the temperature. And I know I'm about to get all these grill fanatics and these grilling experts mm -hmm. telling me all this other stuff, but for me, I'd rather just cook it somewhat fast so we can eat. You know, you got kids running around, they want to eat. You know, you got hot dogs, but you want to get that main course out there too. So she just cut it up, it made it easier. Right. But I'm going to show y'all how, really how you do it, step by step. That is so. 
me a uh, barbecue roast. Once you do it, you probably will never want to get that roast in the crock pot no more again. That must be the potatoes. No. We're only 340 calories. If this kind of went on, baby, you would be talking and stop it and go on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Going. I would have, yeah. That's probably it. Yeah. Time, you know time going. makes you fool. Mm -hmm. That's probably a good thing. I probably should be on camera all the time. <laughs> no, I Seriously, because if you, you don't, know you guys when y'all come talk. That's how I'm going to get full food. I'm like, man, then I'm like, okay, I'm full, y'all. I used to do it a lot in the beginning. I used to get full so fast. I'm like, I ain't hardly eat nothing. But I think you guys are going to sign out. I guess I'm going to make this a, just one vlog. A vlog of me and him at brunch. It's lunch. 11. That's lunch. Lunch. I said brunch because we had eggs. And I got ham. Breakfast ham. So I said brunch. Because it, it, was, it was 11 something. That's in between. It's not even noon yet. Right? All depends on when you start your day. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna upload this today, you guys. So I'm right, going to talk to you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video with anyone. Everyone, let me know what you guys doing on the channel. And I will talk to you soon. I see you soon. Either one of us, either or both. Y'all later. What?